Just put aluminum foil on it and you'll never throw a burnt out bulb away again. Is that right, guys? After this tip, you'll never throw an LED bulb away again. So, here I have this bulb. I'll show it to you. You'll see that it's not working, it's burnt out. So there's an LED bulb. Here's what you're going to do. See this part up here? A lot of people don't know, but it's made of plastic. First, you have to remove this part. Just push it a little. There's some glue here, but it's very easy to remove. And how does this bulb work? See these little squares here? They're the LEDs. If one of these LEDs burns out, the bulb stops working because they work in series. So what you have to do, you have to identify which LED is the one that's burned out here. I can already see in the vast majority of cases, 99.9% .9 of cases, this happens here. There's a little black dot, so I already know which one. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take an object here. I'm using tweezers, but it can be any object. You're going to identify a burnt old here, and you're going to have to remove all of this yellow part. Done, we'll need aluminum foil, and we'll take a small piece here, just enough to cover the contact of the LED. This size is fine. We'll take it and position it over the contact we removed from the OLED. And now just take a little piece of tape here. I'm using Durex tape, and we'll place it over the piece of aluminum foil, remembering that it has to be right on top of the contact. Once you've stuck it on, you can squeeze it like this. What are we doing here? We're isolating this LED that is burnt out, and now I'm going to show you that our light bulb is probably working again. I'll put it here. And look, it's working again. What you have to do now is put the socket back on. As I said, it's fitted, you put it in, and the bulb is already working. So you have a burnt out LED bulb. Don't throw it away. Do this procedure and I'm sure you'll save a lot.